Hello guys, welcome back to our video. Today we will be discussing about the degradation of phenylalanine and tyrosine. So the metabolism or degradation of phenylalanine and tyrosine are together that is the same. Phenylalanine is first converted to tyrosine that is further degraded to the end product. So the first step is irreversible and requires a specific coenzyme called biopterin. The active form of biopterin is tetrahydrobiopterin and in the first step this tetrahydrobiopterin gets oxidized to dihydrobiopterin and this tetrahydrobiopterin is regenerated by an NADPH dependent dihydrobiopterin reductase enzyme. So here in this step, one of the oxygen of oxygen atom of O2 molecule attaches to the para position of phenylalanine and forms an OH group there. Then the other atom of oxygen is reduced with the reducing equivalence provided by tetrahydrobiopterin which in turn is provided by NADPH2. So this tetrahydrobiopterin donates two of its reducing equivalence to the oxygen atom left here and forms H2O molecule that is water molecule. Thus tyrosine is formed. This tyrosine thus formed gets transaminated in presence of transaminase enzyme to form para-hydroxyphenyl pyruvate. This compound then in presence of oxidase enzyme form homogenedicate. Here removal of CO2 molecule occurs. So this much group gets removed as CO2 and then the remaining portion that is um, this much group migrates to this ortho position of this compound and another oxygen that there is one of the oxygen uh, donated by this O2 molecule attaches with this carbon directly and this hydrogen attaches to this oxygen and forms OH group there. So first of all migration occurs then attachment of one of the oxygen atom to this carbon occurs and forms this much group there that is in the ortho position. Then um, the another oxygen atom that is present that is left here attaches to this position and along with one of the hydrogen that was already present in this carbon in this CH group attaches to that oxygen there and forms OH group. So in this step first of all removal of um, carbon dioxide from the COH group occurs then the migration of this the atoms left the molecules left there occurs that is in the CH2 C double bond OH migrates here and then one of the atom of oxygen attaches to this carbon directly and forms an OH group there thus this, this much group is formed here that is in the ortho position then the remaining oxygen atom along with the hydrogen that was already present here forms an OH group there that is in the uh, in this position OH group is formed here and that is homogenedicate. This homogenedicate then again in presence of oxidase enzyme forms malyl acetoacetate. Here oxygen in presence of oxygen cleavage occurs that is this much this this double bond is broken there by oxidase enzyme and one of the oxygen attaches to this carbon and forms double bond O that is shown here then the another oxygen atom that is left here attaches to this carbon and forms a double bond O there that is uh, this carbon attaches another atom left there and forms this bond that is this C double bond O there so uh, thus malyl acetoacetate is formed this is the malyl acetoacetate formed and now it is rewritten in its structural form that is um, it is just rewritten here there is no modification or any change in the structure here just it, it's written in structural form so this COOH is written here then CH2 C double bond O CH2 C double bond O CH double bond CH and COOH so there is no change here it is just rewritten so this malyl acetoacetate then in presence of isomerase enzyme forms fumaryl acetoacetate here certain rearrangement of atoms occurs and thus fumaryl acetoacetate is formed in presence of isomerase enzyme this fumaryl acetoacetate then in presence of hydrolase enzyme 
splits into acetoacetate and fumarate. So in this step, this bond is break, broken here and one of the OH group provided by H2O attaches to this carbon and forms an OH and, and forms an OH there. Then the remaining hydrogen attaches with this CH2 and forms CH3 there. This, um, this COH group is formed and this CH3 group is formed. This fumarate and acetoacetate is formed. Now this fumarate can be um, can be used for TCA cycle or for the production of glucose etc. And this acetoacetate is then further uh, utilized for the production of fat. And this is all about the degradation of phenylalanine and tyrosine.